low voltage solar charge controller or high voltage solar charge controller, which should you go for? Since you consider going into solar energy system or getting one installed, you've been faced with the dilemma of choosing either of these. Now, I'm not giving you a straight answer whether you should go for high voltage solar charge controller or low voltage solar charge controller. Going for either of the two depends on your goal or your aim in solar energy system. When you talk about low voltage solar charge controller, in a layman understanding, a low voltage solar charge controller is more of like a current step down or a current step up. Yeah, because it receives a huge amount of current at peak zone and step it down to match that of the battery bank in order for your battery to charge and try to try to boost the amount of current receiving from the solar panels during dull weather. And it handles a minimum voltage of about 30 volt and maximum of 150 volt, which makes it a low voltage solar charge controller. On the other hand, a high voltage solar charge controller is more of opposite of low voltage solar charge controller because uh, a high voltage solar charge controller is more of a current booster that's in the layman understanding. It receives minimum or little amount of current, then boost that amount of current in order for your battery to charge. But in this aspect of high voltage solar charge controller, it receives minimum of 60 volts and maximum of 500 volts with just little amount of current. There is more power loss when using a low voltage solar charge controller compared to high voltage solar charge controller. Another thing you need to know about this tool is that using low voltage solar charge controller, you need thicker cables. While using high voltage solar charge controller, you need thinner cables. If you use the low voltage solar charge controller, due to the amount of current that will be flowing from your solar panels to the solar charge controller, you will need a very thick cable because high amount of current makes the cable to heat up. Now that heat up can also lead to uh, energy loss if you don't use the right gauge of wire or if you don't use the right wire. While on the other hand, the high voltage solar charge controller, there will be minimal loss because you are transmitting high voltage from your solar panels to where the charge controller is with little amount of current. So there will be nothing like overheating. Now the rest of the job is left for your high voltage solar charge controller to do. High voltage solar charge controller have a good edge over your low voltage solar charge controller on dull weather days because dull weather days your solar panels might not give you good current because there is no sunlight just dull weather so you have a lot of voltage coming from your solar panels to uh, your charge controller and during these hours your high voltage solar charge controller will do a better job than your low voltage solar charge controller on uh, sunny days where the uh, solar panels give you good amount of current your low voltage solar charge controller tends to perform better but know that you are spending more in buying low voltage solar charge controller because you spend in cable. Now, if you are doing a long distance installation, your solar panels will be installed like 50 meters away from your solar charge controller. I would advise you go for high voltage solar charge controller so that you minimize uh, your cable usage and also save, you know, uh, some amount of money. But if you still have a coconut head and you still want to go for low voltage solar charge controller, make sure you use the right cable. Now you will spend more on cable because transmitting that amount of current from 50 meters to where your solar charge controller is, you might not use anything less than you know 16 M in order for not for you to get losses. So you can make the choice either to go for high voltage solar charge controller or low voltage solar charge controller.